I have mentioned this in the past videos where I have currently switched from 0W16 engine oils to 0W20 grade engine oils and in this video I am going to share my experience with the Petronas Synthium 7000 hybrid 0W20 grade engine oil. Now I am someone who has used, lab tested and shared my experience with different Petronas oils in the past which usually sets a certain expectations which I got to appraise for about 6000 km in my Grand Vitara Smart Hybrid. Apart from leaving a few critical points which we will discuss in this video, I have observed certain noticeable highlights from the Synthium 7000 0W20 that makes it stand tall from the competition. To start with, the 0W20 engine oils usually have kinematic viscosity values of about 10% higher than the 0W16 engine oils. Like in this case, the Synthium 7000 has got a kinematic viscosity of 8.4 mm2 per second at 100 degrees Celsius. And being a synthetic engine oil where manufacturers like Petronas are one of the few who have got control over the properties of their own base oil actually helps in the performance of the final product. This can be something like to start off with a higher viscosity index to begin with or to formulate the final product for a longer service life. Although the K15C engine from Suzuki is a pretty smooth engine, but I would like to repeat myself that this 0W20 engine oils actually help in controlling the NVH from the engine to a good degree when compared to 0W16 engine oils. This also brings me to how well the Synthium 7000 hybrid performed in stop and go traffic and in situation where the car is crawling in traffic for long distance. No rise in the temperature needle towards the hot zone was recorded, neither did I notice any rise in the NVH from the engine apart from the radiator fan doing its duty. Currently Petronas India has got the Synthium 7000 0W20 in API SN+, while I have used the Total Quartz 9000 and the Castrol Magnetic 0W20 in more modern API SP spec. Having said that, I have seen their SP spec on sale in European market which might soon come here. While I am on this, I must share one noticeable difference that I observed with the Petronas Synthium 7000 in comparison to the Quartz 9000 0W20 and the Magnetic 0W20 which you will see in the upcoming video is the way this oil supports high RPM and high load demands when it comes to acceleration oil while continuously driving on steep hill roads. The Synthium 7000 does an outstanding job in these situations. I really want to see the wear and tear analysis with this oil's lap test. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a comparison lap test video. Anyway, I really enjoyed pushing this engine with the Synthium 7000 and felt like it paid off the extra price you pay for this oil over the others. Price also brings me to my observations on fuel efficiency with this engine oil where I saw a drop in fuel efficiency when I pushed the engine hard which is expected but surprisingly on a 600 plus kilometers drive with this oil where I did triple digit speeds but was not hard on the engine I got close to 19 kilometers per liter which is just amazing. At around 6000 km, I did drain this oil out and I sincerely felt this is one of those oils which still had service life in it and the oil level was still up there. Petronas has given this oil decent flash point and pour point numbers along with a TBN of 7.2 which should be really good in keeping the engine environment neutral for a long duration. Do note that this Synthium 7000 0W20 hybrid is for petrol engines and hybrid vehicles and not for diesel engines. But it does goes for the modern turbo petrols that need that extra bit of high temperature deposit control and low ash sulphate. So finally as I conclude, I must say that I am not paid for this video or to say this but this again brings the Synthium in my top choice. However, I will hold that place for now till I get the lab test results. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. So that's it for this video and I hope you guys have liked it.